Hey, hey, it's May, and welcome back to Another Plan With Me. Today we are doing September's monthly, and I'm going to try to keep in as much of this plan with me as possible and kind of do a voiceover the entire way. Um, because my little sister recently just got an iPad and she was asking me how to plan a little bit and I should have done this video with um, my hands inside of the video but I'll do that next month so next month be prepared for a full plan with me um, I might even go live if that's something that interests you by the way if um, <laughs> If you're new to my channel, my name is May. I live out of my 2013 Nissan Altima, and I also enjoy digital planning as well as playing The Sims. And if that's something that interests you, uh, please feel free to follow along with my pages. Um, like this video, comment down below if this is something that interests you or if you want any tutorials on how to do planning. Now, with this video, I do um, do this little trick where I take the four post-it notes and I leave them on my screen the entire time because um, it's just I don't tend to save hex codes to my um, like my files as I'm planning so because I have good note six I'm able to use the eyedropper tool and um, pick those colors up so having that solid color just down in the corner allows me uh, to use the eyedropper tool quicker without having to like you know go to different pieces now my monthly plan with me's are a little bit shorter because I don't typically add too much into them um, I do want to start being more efficient with my planner uh, so I do want to add some goals in here uh, as well as a to-do list and you'll see me use this uh, chalkboard type thing <laughs> a lot in my video for my monthly um, that Tara did. In hindsight, I probably could have just stretched it out instead of doing um, two separate images here. It probably would have stretched up and down a lot easier. But, you know, <laughs> neither here nor there, it still works out. Um, I also took the time to do a, um, like a daily tracker, which I'll show you at the end of this video. It's really hard to do voiceovers when there's not much to talk about. <laughs> but I did take um, these numbers and add them in. You will see me start to layer them in. Uh, I didn't cut any of this out like I typically do because I really wanted to um, emphasize like digital planning is cute at the end, but sometimes it does take time. And honestly, only having to do this once a month is a complete time saver because these numbers are very tedious <laughs> my sister um, when I was actually showing her how to set up her monthly she actually skipped the number four so we had did her entire decorations she was super proud of it and then she went to start filling everything in and she was like why are my numbers not matching <laughs> And she had actually skipped the entire number four and she was like, oh my god, do I have to start all over? And I was like, um, well, maybe. <laughs> but she ended up not. We ended up just like pushing everything back one and then going from there. Um, so it actually worked out kind of fine. Um, I do add in some decorations uh, when it comes to um, the birthdays that I have this month as well as um, the section that I decorated for fall that's a little bit later on in the video it did cut out some of my recordings but like when I came back it wasn't too far off um, this is an example of how I layer some things inside my planner um, and this is ways that you can use your stickers so you'll see me layer these two boxes and this is how I'm gonna um, notate my work schedule um, so I typically work Monday Tuesday Wednesday so that I can be out in the middle of nowhere Thursday through Sunday um, so I typically try to get all my work hours in in the beginning of the week so I copy that all the way down um, and then just add this in now you did see me um, once I have my first three down I do um, just lasso those all together and then paste them the rest of the way um, because we work smarter not harder 
<laughs> and the same thing um, with these text boxes. Once I have one and I like the way it's sized, I go ahead and do all the other ones. Um, I put them in these three separately because this is the sizing that I need. And with just text boxes selected, I go ahead and um, bring them all down. I'm noticing now that that's floating a little bit, maybe. Um, I should probably go back and look at that. Through the month of September, I have quite a few birthdays. It's my mom's birthday and my grandmom's birthday. So be sure to wish them a happy birthday down in the comments. Um, uh, so I do put that in as well as my little cousin's birthday. And this kind of shows you the way layering works in good notes. Um, Cause you see that I posted this down um, first, but I wanted the balloons to be on top of it. So I kind of had to um, like layer it some, like bring it to the front versus to the back. And this is where I was talking about um, me decorating for the first day of fall because I am a fall girly, like pumpkin spice me, candy corn me. Um, <laughs> I know that's such like a taboo. People don't like candy corn, but I personally love candy corn, specifically the pumpkins. And I was just talking to somebody about that. Um, but this is where I added that in. I do end up changing my Labor Day one as well. But this here is what I wanted to show you guys. This is how I'm gonna do my daily trackers. Um, I typically, again, um, I'm a paper girl, I'm paper planner at heart type girly. So digital planning has been something that's like new to me. Um, next year, I'm thinking of doing a paper bullet journal. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, again, follow my page. We might squeeze that in some. Um, but I created this page using the um, page that's already here for habits that Tara created. Um, but I wanted to do um, just a few trackers and I wanted to do my adulting Tetris. Um, I got the adulting Tetris from Little Birdie Canada, I think it's called, on Etsy. Um, she does paper bullet journals, but I just downloaded them to be inside of um, my digital bullet journal because that's what you do with PDFs. So I did take this adulting Tetris and um, fill this in. And basically, essentially what you do is if you've done the task for that day, then you will color in the Tetris um, shape. So again, I use the sticky notes so I can have colors. Um, I did have to pull some colors from the other color palettes that were used um, this month that Tara did. Um, but I think they work um, pretty well together, I guess. Um, but this is pretty um, how I color them in. Now, this is one of the things that I was saying. If you don't like to color in your planner, this is not for you. Now, I typically take my time with this. And um, <laughs> I like to scribble all over and then go through with my eraser and fine tune it. And when I say, y'all, this is the most relaxing part of digital planning to me is coloring in. Now I do use um, the highlighter tool here and it's just because with the highlighter tool um, it kind of sits behind the print that's already there. So when I color over it, even though I'm coloring over the black lines, once I'm done the black lines will still show. Um, so I use the highlighter tool and with the highlighter tool it tends to be a little bit lighter um, than the actual color. So um, you, I do have to like double up on some of them where I'll copy and paste it just to make them a little brighter um, just so they have some color differences. And then I do take it and um, once I have the color, I change that same color to the task um, that I want to complete. And for this month's tags, um, as you've seen, I want to, um, and these are things that I want to typically try to do because I like to fill things in. So I have, I want to um, TikTok lives, um, post to my socials, especially YouTube, train with my dog, um, uh, edit, record some videos. I do want to drink more water. I typically don't eat too many meals, so I do have that added in, as well as reading my audiobook and journaling. Um, now, journaling comes into play when I do fill this portion of my planner in but I do have a section in my dailies where I do want to start daily journaling um, so you'll see that when that video comes up <laughs> um, but here I am filling in my um, trackers for the month I do want to start getting healthier um, I'm, 
I'm looking at myself in the mirror and there's things I want to change. So I'm going to start doing yoga um, this month. And I do have it set inside of my monthly goals that I want to do yoga um, three times a week. So far, in the first week, I've done it four times. So go me. <laughs> this week, I've been slacking already. But today's only Wednesday, so it's okay. <laughs> but I do go through and I... Um, I filled this on in previously and created this. I created this using the um, monthly calendar from the front of the planner. Um, I just took a screenshot of it and then copied and pasted it. And then these squares and lines are just um, using the handwriting tool and then text boxes to write down the things that I want to do. Now, I did put yoga and meditation together and, and in hindsight, I probably should do them differently because meditation doesn't count towards my move ring on my Apple Watch. Um, so mostly just yoga counts, but I've been counting it because exercising your mind is the same thing as exercising your body. And honestly, they go hand in hand. <laughs> um, at this point, I am doing my mood tracker as well. My sister thinks it's hilarious um, and you'll see why. But I started to copy and paste and then I started um, again, let's work smarter, not harder. I just cut what was already up top, um, making sure the handwriting only was on. And then um, because I didn't want them to be the same, I just rearranged it a little bit. And now they're the same exact size as the ones up top. And I don't have to recolor them in or anything. I just have to write in uh, what I want them to say. Um, this part up top, I tried to highlight it a few times. I deleted that part out. Um, and it, I didn't really like the way it looked. So again, I decided to just use this um, chalkboard type banner that Tara has and she does include the same stars that's already here and I just I wanted to keep the same quote but I didn't um, necessarily want it there I guess <laughs> so what I basically did was you see up top I copied it and pasted it um, added the stars and then at the end I do copy the same exact text um, habits create success and I left it up there um, and then because these places were a little bit blank I did go in and add a little bit of decoration to them and I think I do like the way it turned out it just looks a little it looks very fall-ish and I do love this color palette it's very calming and moody um, and so far coloring it in in the last week I'm loving the way it turns out um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my moods um, <laughs> when it comes to my moods, again, I, I have good days and then I have like okay days, but I wouldn't say any day is like, I, I have a really hard time rating my days of like four or five stars. So I just went through when I rated it good, eh, meh, and uh, because that's literally how I rate my days. If somebody is like, hey, May, how'd your day go today? I'll be like, eh, or it was good, or meh. Nah. <laughs> so that's exactly what I put in my planner. Why? Because it's my planner, and you can essentially do anything you want inside of your own planner, you know? <laughs> um, so you'll see me put that in here. Um, I don't know if I changed the font of these, um, or the font color. Um, I was struggling a little bit, as you can see, with my background image keep selecting <laughs> oh yep I do change it I change it to the brown to match maybe maybe not no I do change it okay um <laughs> and then I make those the green color to match yeah I remember that um but now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I fill it in each month I mean each day so I go in and I use the dropper tool to select the color um and then I go through and I find the um one that matches and drops it down and this is how I color them in I figure out what I've done that day and again use the highlighter tool and just color them in I'll give you guys an update later on in the month of what it looks like mid-month so you can see how it goes along and me filling in my Tetris board um, but that about sums it up uh, thank you guys so so much for being here um, and listening to me ramble let me know if rambling is a good video um, if you guys are okay with this kind of video, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe, and comment down below if this is something that you're interested in. Thank you guys for being here. Happy planning.